This is the Aki and Fish, the national dish of Jamaica, and I'm trying it here in Los Angeles at the highest rated Jamaican restaurant in LA. So what does the food in this city taste like? Well, I'm about to find out right now, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out in Inglewood again. Seems like I've been out here quite a bit these days, but I have another good reason to be out here because I'm gonna be jumping back into the wonderful world of Jamaican cuisine. You know, Jamaican food, there are quite a number of these restaurants in Los Angeles, so it's not rare to find. But what is the best Jamaican restaurant you can go to? I've been to one about a year ago, it was awesome, and now I'm at another restaurant that's actually the highest rated Jamaican restaurant in Los Angeles behind me, which is Karuba's Yardy Kitchen, which has been here for about a few years right now, so it's still kind of fairly new, but it's been getting a lot of raves on Yelp and Google, some of the most authentic, tasty Jamaican food that you can find in Los Angeles. That sounds so awesome. So anyways, if you guys wanna see what Jamaican food looks like here in LA, the highest rated one, then you must stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see this Jamaican feast that I'm about to have here in LA. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because I put out these food and travel videos weekly that you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now, and I'm about to go in and get me some of this lunch. So I'm in the kitchen right now. This is Karuba himself. All right, all right, yes sir. <laughs> oh yeah, so the restaurant is named after him and he's back here grilling up all this delicious jerk chicken, which is a signature dish in Jamaica. And I'm gonna be sure to have some of this along with plenty of other great stuff. That's the snapper? Yes, the snapper. Wow. All the toppings that go on the fish, like yes. the bell pepper and carrots. carrots. And onions. onions. And it has a vinegar base to it. All right, with a vinegar base to it. Yeah, from school chicken. Oh man, that looks pretty good too, oh, actually. This is awesome, brother. This is awesome. Oh man. Yes. It looks like a, like such, this looks like home cooked meal kind oh, of. Yes, 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 yes. This, this Jamaican kitchen is truly amazing. Like when you walk in here, you see so much of that fun and excitement going on here. Them grilling the barbecue chicken and making some of the stew and this whole delicious snapper fish you really will get so excited just looking at all this I, I really can't wait to try this and here we go with my first dish this is the red snapper probably the most popular fish dish on the menu it looks so epic the fish has been cooked to perfection and with this vegetable that's on top of it that I heard is a little bit spicy and kind of sour tangy as well, cooked with a thyme flavor. Oh, sounds so good. Plantains, pea rice, and some veggies. So the rice itself will make a very good accompaniment to the fish right here, which is so tender, it breaks apart, falls right off the bone. Wow, wow, that is so tasty. That fish is very tender, like I said, and the chef is right. It is a little bit spicy, kind of sweet, a little bit sour too, since some of that vinegar has been added in that cooking process. Ooh, a lot of it comes from this vegetables that's on top of it. The bell pepper and carrots and onions, everything's so great about it, because you got your fish and your spicy and sour veggies on top of it, your rice and your plantains. Here's the next one. This is the Beyond Meat Bowl. Uh, one of their vegetarian dishes, rice, plantain, got some vegetables and a house sauce with corn. And this is the Beyond Meat. And this one here is a very famous Jamaican dish called the Aki and salt fish. This in itself, uh, despite how it looks, it's not scrambled eggs. This is the actual Aki fruit itself which is the yellow colored mixed in with the salt fish all cooked together like that. And also coming with rice, plantains, and some veggies. Maybe I'll go ahead and try some of this impossible meat. I don't remember when was the last time I've had vegan meat before. You know, maybe I haven't actually. This is probably the first time I'm trying it. 
Well, hopefully it's going to be a good first impression. Wow, it actually tastes like meat. I don't know what kind of meat though, like what, ground chicken or beef or something? But it's not beef or chicken. If it's called Impossible, it is a vegan dish. Yeah, so this bowl is, is like your ideal vegan Jamaican bowl right here because it has your plantains, your rice, your veggies, and your Impossible meat. And before this gets too cold, I'm gonna try the Aki and fish right now. First time trying it. Mmm. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, so the salt fish itself, obviously it's a little bit salty. I've had salt fish before, but the Aki I think is really interesting. I'm trying to think about how exactly to describe it. Um, it's kind of like, because it melts in your mouth, almost like pudding in some ways. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be, but the combination is pretty good. You get the, the tenderness of the fish that's kind of salty, balance it out with that neutral flavor of the aki. And the thing I heard about aki is that you have to eat it at its right condition because if you, if you eat it while it's ripe, it could, it's poisonous. It could kill you, I think. And obviously you cannot eat the outside layer as well. So. There's a preparation process to how you're supposed to eat it in terms of its timing as well. And then it's supposed to be safe. So obviously if I made it to this restaurant, I'm safe, right? Some more of the dishes I got. This is the jackfruit, the curry jackfruit, one of their vegan dishes. As you can tell all the way in the bottom, that is the actual jackfruit itself with some chickpeas, curry, and the usual rice, vegetables, plantains. Ooh, this is the big one here this is their barbecue jerk short ribs <laughs> look how dark brown the gravy is over at that sauce that looks so amazing another one of their best sellers here at this restaurant here we go jackfruit and chickpeas love that curry flavor you know what jackfruit kind of tastes like it kind of tastes like cooked artichokes in some ways but it's really good though so it's not a fruit in the sense that it's super sweet. It tastes more like a vegetable. But if you combine it with the chickpeas and all this curry sauce, which isn't even that spicy, it's more like on the mild side, it's excellent. This is such a perfect vegan dish. Me, I'm so into vegan curry dishes, so this is my kind of food. You know what I didn't expect about this is that it's so tender on the inside, but the outside is crispy. And the sauce is so amazing. It's so thick. Ooh, yeah. The short ribs are so good. You definitely need to get the short ribs here, especially if you are into beef. This short ribs is the way to go, man. And by the way, guys, they do have wraps here as well. You can do the vegan one or you can do the jerk wrap, which is what I got with the jerk chicken inside of it. Tortilla on the outside that's been cooked in a panini press. Inside, you see that? Rice and corn and sauce and shredded lettuce, all that good stuff. Oh yeah, this is like a Caribbean burrito right here. And it's exactly what it sounds like, it's a wrap. So in many ways, it's very clean to eat. It's not gonna get your hands way too messy. I love the way that the tortilla feels. It feels so smooth on the top, but then the way it tastes is amazing as well. I wanna tell you, this wrap is not a traditional Jamaican food. So it's not like something you find if you were to go on the island. It's a specialty of this restaurant. But this is good in the sense that it's very delicious. It's easy to eat, it's uh, pretty cheap, and uh, it's just really good for on the go, like lunch or snack. And here is their jerk chicken. This is the one I've been wanting to try after watching it being barbecued on that grill. So it's pretty much the Jamaican barbecued chicken with the jerk sauce that's all over it, which is very dark, almost like dark brown, blackish color. But don't be intimidated by this, it's actually very good. Wow. You know, this is the only, the only, only the second time that I've had jerk chicken. So I'm not a jerk chicken expert, but man, anything that's 
barbecued and it has a spice sauce on top of it. I dig it. The meat, the first thing I notice is that it's very juicy. It's juicy, it's tender, and the sauce itself is a little bit on the runny side. So it's not like a super thick gravy, kind of runny. So definitely soak your chicken into that sauce so you can have the maximum enjoyment. You see the sauce is like all over my mouth right now. <laughs> oh boy, I'm just having so much fun with this food. And then I can't leave here without trying their oxtail, which is also another popular Jamaican food. Yes, this is the oxtail itself with all this dark brown gravy. It looks so, so delicious. Awesome stuff. As I would expect, the meat is extremely tender. It falls off the bone. It is super delicious. And the gravy that's all over it, it's like really traditional signature oxtail gravy. It feels so like home style in many ways. Very like comfort food, exactly what this is. So if you're into oxtail, then obviously you should get this one. Even if you've never tried oxtail before, or not super into it, try it anyways, because it's one of the things that you should get in a Jamaican restaurant. And my personal favorite of all of these, I'd probably say since I'm such a meat and a fish person, I definitely love the snapper, definitely love the beef short ribs, barbecue sauce, but everything was so different in its own way. So it's really hard to say because like I said, they have the vegan dishes like the curry jackfruit, the impossible bowl to your breads like the festival, which is such a good snack. And then the ackee and fish is really good as well. I mean. Everything here is just amazing in its own way. So yeah, if you are in the Inglewood area and you're looking for some really awesome Caribbean food, then I do recommend stop by here and try Karuba's Yardi Cuisine because this place is, it, it's a knockout. I mean, the food here is so fresh. It's tasty, good recipes all around. So yeah, definitely come on by here. And if you don't know what to get, just get what I got because these are some of the most popular things that you can get on the menu. And I'm pretty sure you'll be satisfied. So remember, that Karuba's Yardy Kitchen in Inglewood. All right guys, so before I let you go, I just want to give a shout out once again to Karuba, the owner here at this restaurant. And I want to mention something. If you come here and you mention that you saw this episode, he's going to hook you up with a free drink, right? Right on, yes, 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 I will. All right, come awesome. On. So come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on okay, down. The price is right. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. You know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Comment on the section below because if you've been to this restaurant before, I would love to hear your story. And also subscribe so you can get these food and travel adventures weekly. Well, I hope you have a rocking day today, folks, and that you'll try this awesome food sometime soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.